สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So today I'm going to share with you one of my all-time favorite dishes when I was a kid. It's something called ไข่ลูกเขย Now ไข่ is eggs and ลูกเขย means son-in-law. Now why it's called son-in-law eggs? I have no idea. There's lots of theories out there, but I don't think anyone really knows. Now, in any case, this dish is super, super delicious, and I think it uses a technique that might be new to many of you. So it's super interesting. Let's get started. So ไข่ลูกเขย essentially is deep fried boiled eggs with a sweet and sour tamarind sauce. Now I know deep fried boiled eggs might be like what to many of you, but just watch. So I've got here just a little pot. I'm gonna start out by sauteing a little bit of chopped shallots. Now this is actually my own little trick. Normally there's no herbs or anything in here, but I just think when you add shallots to the sauce, it just makes it a little I don't know a little more well balanced. So once the shallots start to brown just a little bit and it's soft and translucent, I'm gonna add some palm sugar. Now palm sugar is so important in this dish, so make sure you use good quality palm sugar. And by good quality, I mean the color should be quite deep and not light pale yellow, and it shouldn't look crystallized. I feel that the ones that are crystallized they mix in some granulated sugar in it, so the flavor isn't as deep and butterscotchy. Some tamarind. I'm gonna add a splash of water to help the sugar dissolve a little bit. Now I was being lazy and I left the sugar in big chunks, but it doesn't matter for this dish very much because it'll dissolve in no time. And now some salty, some fish sauce, and that is it. That is all there is to the sauce. Now a very traditional version just has palm sugar, tamarind, and fish sauce with no shallots, and you could do that if you wanted. And now I'm gonna let the palm sugar dissolve and cook it a little bit so it's nice and thick. So when you're done with it, it should look a little bit translucent, darker, and also has a consistency of a thin syrup. Now, when you taste it, and please do because different fish sauce, different tamarind is going to be different. Keep in mind that this will go on the egg, so this should taste too strong. But when it goes on the egg, it'll mellow out perfectly. All right, that's the sauce. Let's deal with the other stuff. The only thing left to do is to fry things. We're gonna fry shallots, garlic, dried chilies, and the eggs. I know that's a lot of frying, but it's all worth it. Trust me. So I've got here some sliced shallots. Now I've made fried shallots so many times before, but just a quick review. I've salted it so that the salt draws out the moisture in the shallots, and then after it's had some time to sit, you just kind of dab it with paper towel, and it'll help absorb excess moisture. This step isn't. Absolutely necessary, but it'll help your shallots crisp up a lot faster in the oil. And fried shallots are good on so many things. So I've got a little bit of oil here. I don't need a lot, and I definitely want to keep the heat low. I'm gonna add the shallots right away. I'm not even gonna wait for the oil. And in the beginning, I can crank the heat. And once the shallots start to bubble, so that means the oil is getting hot, I'm gonna turn the heat down, and I want to keep it low until it's all golden and crispy. All right. So once the bubbles start to slow down, that's a sign that they're crispy, and take them out just before the color is what you want it to be, because it will continue to darken off the pan. And it's always safer to under fry them. You can always fry them again, but if you burn them, it's over. So in the same oil, I'm going to make my garlic chips. So I thinly sliced garlic, so they're thin and chip-like. Okay, I have not turned the heat back on because again. I don't want to overheat the garlic because they also burn really quickly. And I'll just turn the heat back on as I notice that they need a little extra boost. So once the garlic starts to turn golden, be very, very vigilant. If the garlic is too brown, even a little bit, it's bitter. What I do now is I keep it in my skimmer here, and it's just kind of keep passing it through the oil. As soon as they're done, I lift them out instantly. All right, the last thing we're gonna fry is dried chilies. So I've got here some Thai dried chilies. You can use any kind of dried chilies you want. That's spicy. So what we do is we fry them whole and we leave them whole, so that if the kiddies eat it, they don't have to take these. And when the adults want some heat, you can just take one, break them off, and add a little spice to your particular dish. Okay, so I'm dropping them into this oil, which is off. Once I see that they do need a little. Boost. I turn it on, and I'm looking for them to turn a dark maroon kind of color. And that is it. That literally took 
15 seconds or 30 seconds and they're crispy and that's the important part. So I've got here some medium boiled eggs, which means I boiled them for eight minutes. Now, if you've got duck eggs, now is the time to use them. It's more traditional, it's a bit firmer, but chicken eggs will work just fine. So you wanna make sure you boil them, you peel them, you wanna dry them, okay? Because if you have a lot of water, when you fry these, it'll spatter all over the place. So the oil, I've added a little extra oil so that now it comes up halfway the height of the eggs. That way we just flip once and it's good to go. Now I want this at 375. It has to be hot because you want to create a crust, sort of a chewy brown crust around the eggs. If the oil is too low, it'll take a really long time and you start cooking the inside of your eggs and then from medium boiled, it'll turn into hard boiled. And it doesn't have to be perfect on every single spot. What we want here is basically like a chewy crust to add a little texture to the eggs. We're not gonna really even see it because the eggs will be cut open. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, assembly time. So what we would normally do is cut the eggs in half. So you need a sharp knife to get through sort of that crusty edge. And oh my God, look how perfect that is. And now the sauce. Now I have reheated the sauce slightly because it will, because there's a lot of sugar in it, it will harden as it cools. Ooh, that looks so good. And you wanna put on a lot of shallots because trust me, that's the good part. And the fried garlic, the other really good part. Going down. And then the chilies for the adults in the house. Very nice. And just a little extra greenery, just some cilantro. Look how pretty that is! Now you want to have this with some jasmine rice. Oh, the smell of childhood. Mm. So good. Oh, the fried shallots and the fried garlic. Do not skip it. Oh, it's so good. And there's nothing quite like it. It's sweet and sour. The yolk is creamy, but the white, because of that fried edge, has a chewiness to it. A little heat from the chilies. Oh. So the recipe, as always, will be on HotThaiKitchen.com. When you make it, definitely send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so right here. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. Sawadika! Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen! What are we doing today? <laughs>